Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm finally filming my college apartment tour. I wanted to get this video up before I started to decorate for Christmas, which is going to be very soon. So yeah, that's what this video is going to be. And I'm a senior at Kent State University. My major is fashion merchandising. So I live right downtown Kent and I have a super cute apartment. So if you want to see my college apartment tour, then just keep watching. Okay, starting at the front door, I'll do kind of like an overview of the whole apartment. We have a one bedroom apartment, so it's the front door, the kitchen, the living room, and then the bedroom is off to the side with the bathroom, which I will show in a second. So right when you walk in, there's two doors, one to the left and one to the right. And this one is the washer and dryer and it's super nice that we have a washer and dryer inside of our apartment we don't have to go down the hall or anything it's really really nice and then we kind of just keep like our vacuum mop the umbrellas back there just some cleaning supplies and the blow-up mattress is back there and we have to keep the laundry detergent and stuff on top of the dryer just because there's really like nowhere else to put it we could put it on the floor but that's where we keep like the vacuum and all of that stuff so that's what's in this room nothing too exciting and then you turn over to the left and this room is like super super ugly i think this is the hot water tank i'm not really sure but there's that at the bottom so we obviously can't put anything down there the steamer is down there i'm not sure if that's allowed to be touching this or not i'm not really sure but up here is just some more cleaning supplies extra paper towels there's a toolbox up there and those are some more accessories for the dyson vacuum and just some reusable grocery bags up there and yeah nothing really fun in here either but then going over to the kitchen so obviously the sink is on this side and the oven and the microwave is on this side so there's actually a lot of really good storage in this apartment which is really nice because if you guys know i lived in new york for a couple of months last year and there was like no room at all to keep groceries and pots and pans and everything like that so down here i kind of keep like the pots and pans and like cooking stuff and in the cabinets up here is mostly just like groceries. So I'm not gonna go through every single one. I have a bunch of like teas there. And I honestly don't keep anything really in this cabinet up there or that one because I can't reach them that well. So nothing really goes in those ones. And then all of the glassware, plates, bowls, tea glasses so yeah i just think this cabinet is so pretty looking there's some reusable starbucks cups up there and then there's also this little glass with bow on it and it says his name that is so cute and everything that i'm gonna show i'm either gonna try and link where it's from or just say where i got it or where i ordered it from and just things like that so mostly everything in this cabinet is from crate and barrel and target so these plates are both from and the bowls actually they're all from crate and barrel and they're all from the same collection i'm pretty sure it's called the verge i'm not 100 percent sure so i will double check and i'll have them linked down below i love these so much i just think they look so good and the sides add like a little bit of extra detail to them and they're not just flat and i love how big the bowls are so yeah all of those are from crate and barrel and these little like saucer dishes are also from crate and barrel this cup with a bow on it is from an instagram shop i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure it's called harper made i will also double check and have that linked down below but she does some really cute like custom stuff and the tea glasses are from amazon they're the best tea glasses ever i use them almost every single day and the glasses are actually from target i've had these for a couple of years now and they've held up really really nicely those ones are from target and the smaller ones are also target i'm pretty sure the wine glasses are too and i know crate and barrel has ones that look exactly like 
those ones and they're a lot more expensive at Crate and Barrel. So I'm not sure if Target still has them, but I will look and link them down below if they still have them. Over here is the silverware and I keep some lighters <laughs> tied to goes and just some other like little random things. So I keep some chip clips and then this is like a Thing to clip the candle wick and all of my silverware is from Target and it's super super nice a lot of my kitchen stuff like kitchen utensils are from Target I think Target has some really really good kitchen stuff and it's almost like the same as Crate and Barrel and Crate and Barrel is so much more expensive so like all of these are Target silverware is Target the straws are from Amazon and I love these because they're reusable and you don't have to keep buying new straws. So yeah, that is that drawer. Under here, we just have the toaster and the pots and pans. I really like how this shelf has like um, an extra shelf so you can stack the pots and pans. And these are also from Target. The strainer's from Target. The toaster is from Amazon and I love this toaster. That is that cabinet and then that's pretty much everything on this side of the kitchen the dishwasher is obviously right there and in this little bowl right here we just keep our keys because when we first moved in we were just kind of throwing our keys everywhere and i hated how it just like looked like a mess so this is from home goods and i like how it's tall so then when you stand back like you can't really see what's in the bowl and then i have candles literally everywhere you'll see throughout this video but going over to this side there's honestly not much over here i keep spices in there i'm not gonna go through either of these cabinets just because they're not very like organized and it's basically just food and everything and then there's nothing in that one up there so then the microwave is right here and on both sides of the oven um, I just keep like kitchen utensils, spoons, spatulas, all of that good stuff down here is kind of just like baking things like baking powder, flour. Over here is just more kitchen stuff. I keep the kitchen utensils on this side that I don't really use that much like the pizza cutter I don't really use that much. This is a garlic mincer so just the stuff that I don't use every day I keep on this side and the more every day things i keep on that side and this is our little candy drawer me and nathan always have candy we have the biggest sweet tooth so just some chocolate sweet stuff and a lot of this we've had since we've moved in so we don't go through this very quickly but we just like to have options and lastly on this side is just napkins and more like decorative dish towels that i put here I did have Halloween ones up that I just took down. So it's just the white one for now. And then I'll put Christmas towels up soon up here. I love this teapot from Target. I think it just adds like a lot to this area because it's obviously hard to decorate um, like a kitchen space. So I saw this at Target and I knew I had to get it. And I love it there. And when I'm cooking, I just move it over here just so it's not in the way some olive oil and i love this knife set this is from amazon these are the best knives ever they're super sharp so they cut food really easily and i also just love how it's white and simple and clean and just a cutting board right here also from target then we just have the fridge and that's everything for the kitchen and then moving over into the living room so the apartment did come furnished so we did not buy any of this furniture all of the decorations and everything are mine but the bar stools were theirs couch came with it coffee table tv thing all of that we did bring the tv but it came with the tv stand so yeah almost everything the bed frame all of that is theirs so that's why i'm really excited for when i have like my own apartment and i can pick out my own furniture i honestly don't hate this couch because it's it's just gray it's not too bad and it's obviously fine for a college apartment but we just have a lamp right here this lamp is from pottery barn and i've had this for a couple of apartments and i love it so much i feel like it just fits with a lot of different like apartment vibes and it can really just like fit in well anywhere and both of these frames i think are from society six i will double check and i will have them linked down below but i also like these because they are just so simple and neutral that they kind of fit 
with whatever vibe you're going for. And this is the couch. I love how cozy it is. I keep two blankets on the couch because I honestly use the one that's right in the middle more often because it's like a little bit more cozy and soft. I just like this one because it matches the pillows. These are both from Target. I knew I had to add like something else because when we first moved in, we only had like two little throw pillows and the couch just looked like super, super sad and not cozy at all. So all of the throw pillows and blankets are from Target. Or no, actually the middle one is from Home Goods. And I just got these throw pillows recently when we moved in. So I'm sure that they will still have them. And I love how big these ones are. I'm pretty sure these are like the 26 by 26. These are just little smaller ones. On the coffee table, we just have this little bowl from, oh, I think this is from West Elm, I'm pretty sure. I'll double check the bottom to see if it has a tag on it still. You can tell that almost everything in the apartment is white, and I do really like decorating with just very simple things, but everything is so white because I feel like for college apartments, when it comes furnished, it's hard to find things that match their furniture. All of the furniture is so dark, like this is gray, that's brown, that's brown. The bar stools are almost like black looking. I actually think they are black. And this is like marbled, so it's just hard to find things that match their furniture. So that's why I kind of just went like very simple all whites. When I have my own apartment with my own furniture, I definitely want to like branch out with some more colors. But for now, we're just sticking with very basic colors just so everything matches because if i was doing too many colors it would drive me crazy and it would just look cluttered to me staying very simple with the whites and you'll see in the bedroom everything is very simple in there too and these curtains on the window these are from amazon and i think these turned out so nice we didn't have curtains on them for a while and it just looked very like plain over here so i think the curtains are a really nice little added touch. So now going into the bedroom, I'm not gonna show anything over on this side. Nathan's gaming setup and everything is over there and there's not much else that's over there. But right here is the TV. So just some remotes and I keep this little stuffed animal of a bow right there. And in these dressers, we just keep more of like folding clothes. So I keep pajamas. Nathan keeps his sweatpants. And this is the bed. So the bed is very simple. All of the bedding is from Brook Linen. That's where the duvet covers from and then all of the sheets and all of the pillowcases. And this throw blanket is from UGG. It's super, super soft and I like how it adds just like a little bit of a neutral color since everything is so white. But then on the inside of the blanket, it is white. So I love this blanket, it's super soft. And these pillows over here, these are from Restoration Hardware. And I also have like a big throw blanket. It's underneath the bed. So this is the throw blanket that matches the pillows, but that just gets very, very hot at night. So that's why that's not on the bed. When that is on the bed, it does look really comfy and cozy. So yeah, that's the bed, just super simple. But I like how the pillows add just like a little bit of extra something so then going over here is the bathroom and the closet right here is where we keep the bath towels there's not really any in there right now because i have to wash some but i just fold them up like that and i keep them right here just because there's nowhere in the bathroom to keep them there's not that much storage but over on the left i'm not going to go into too much detail on the closet but this is the closet. It's pretty big. The only thing I don't like is that there's like no door. So when the closet is messy looking, you just have to see it. It's usually like pretty clean and everything, but we just keep hanging clothes right there. Some more hanging clothes. And I have to hang my jeans and my pants just because there's really no other space to put them. And all the way back there, I keep my sweatshirts and little tank tops and things like that. And... We recently just got this shoe rack to keep all of our sneakers and tennis shoes slides because they were all on the floor and it was just like way too cluttered. So we got this from Target and it works really, really nicely. And you can keep shoes on the front and the back. And then going into the bathroom. The bathroom is a pretty good size. So over on the left is just a standing shower and i don't love that i have to keep this out because i hate how unorganized it looks but there's 
like honestly no way that you could organize something like this so this is the best that it's gonna get because there is a space in the drawers and under here but just not enough because it is me and nathan now it's not just me and i just have a lot of stuff so i kind of keep everything that i don't use every day on this little cart we keep our toothbrushes out and i honestly think they kind of look cute out because they're almost like the they're not the same brand but they're similar in size and nathan's cologne i just ran out of my perfume i did have my perfume sitting right there but i just ran out of that the other side are both of these containers from pottery barn and i'm obsessed with these i've had these for so long and they are such nice quality they're so high quality and this one is just q-tips and little cotton rods i honestly don't really use cotton rounds ever because if i use a toner or something i just put it in my hand but i had some extra ones so i just put it in there just to fill up the jar a little bit and then this is just some soap obviously and that's everything that we keep up at the top this is actually a very big counter which is really nice for when i do my makeup and everything then going over here to these drawers i'm not even going to open these ones down here because there's not really anything in them it's just extra toilet paper there's nothing really exciting in there but over here is just where i keep most of my skincare and makeup so the top drawer is skincare and i have this organized pretty well it definitely could be better but it's as good as it's gonna get these drawers are pretty small this second one i just keep this one's not as organized as the first one but these are just where i keep like my contacts scrunchies face wash so yeah the first two drawers are mine and then this is nathan's drawer so he just keeps his cologne deodorant and everything in there and then i keep my makeup on the bottom drawer just because i don't do like full makeup every single day so that's why i keep it at the bottom because i don't obviously need to get to it that easily and this doesn't look like that it's organized but i kind of have it organized so you can take this one out and then you can also take the ones with my powders out i also don't love how that is organized but it's pretty good yeah that's everything i think in the whole bathroom like i showed this is the shower and it is a standing shower so it makes me so sad that we don't have a bathtub because i'm obsessed with taking baths especially at night okay but that is the entire apartment so i think that is going to complete this video so thank you guys for watching and like i said i'll try and link everything that i can down below in the description box but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you again for watching and i'll see you in my next one